Hello students, I hope all of you are doing well. So here with this we are going to start our uh, basic course for your 12th board examination and uh, of course the NEET examination. With this series we are going to deal with each and every chapter, with each and every topic that is required based on the uh, NCRT textbook and apart from that also relevant to your examination point of view, right? So for your need preparation in this uh, era of uh, online mode, you can completely rely on our course and uh, you don't need to worry about that because with this we are also going to solve some previous year's questions and important questions uh, that that can be prepared and with this you can do your practice for the examinations also meanwhile right okay so let us begin with the first chapter of ncrt based and again it is important for the uh, as far as the syllabus of the neat is concerned okay particularly the first chapter is about the reproduction in organism but here uh, we we are dealing with this chapter in the form of topic uh, for the neat examination right Okay, so reproduction in organism that involved in NEET examination from the 12th standard textbook and uh, then uh, NCRT based syllabus and then it, it is basically involved in the human physiology, right? Because different systems of human physiology, for example, respiration, for example, excretion, muscles, movement, blood circulation, digestion, you have already studied okay in 11th standard it would be covered but the one topic for the human physiology is left that is with the reproduction okay but here with this we are not only dealing with the human reproduction we have to combinedly dealing with the reproduction 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 for say example in general and reproduction in plant and reproduction in animals human right so this is what the first part where we are dealing with the reproduction in general. Okay. So let us move with this. Okay. Uh, basically whenever we are talking about the NCRT based syllabus because here we are also dealing with the board examination. There are four chapters with this, with this unit, right? Reproduction in organism, then sexual reproduction in plant. And whenever we are uh, we are talking about like uh, flowering plant, human reproduction and reproductive health. Okay, so this is what happened. Then uh, basically we have to start with the reproduction in organism. Okay, this is what the uh, scientist biography you are given in your textbook. You must at least know about this that uh, uh, Panchan, Panchana Maheshwari, uh, he was the reputed person. Uh, from the India in 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 the field of botany and uh, again he was important for uh, initiating some research in India right okay so coming to next part uh, first of all from the basic one what is reproduction okay as like other system there is also importance of reproduction for example, digestion, what is the purpose of digestion we are dealing with? Then what is the purpose of circulation? What is the purpose of respiration? The same way there is the purpose of reproductive system that we have, that any animal have in, in their body. Okay, so what is the system? What is the importance of this system? So as we know, the human or the living organism, they are following the cycle of the life. That, that is the cycle or the lifespan between the birth and the death, right? Beginning with the birth and dealing with the death. So with this lifespan as the particular organism has a particular characteristics, particular uh, we can say the uh, genome. So after the death of that particular animal or particular organism, there would be some existence of their genomic pattern and that can be only happen by having the reproduction because the reproduction results in the new progeny okay and this new progeny as we will be dealing with in genetics also this new progeny which is the which is the result of the reproduction is not exactly like their parents 
but they are similar to their parents there are some characteristics of their parent one okay so individual organism do not live forever therefore continuity of species for example nowadays we are may hearing about the some animal species that are going to be extinct right that that is no more okay so if this particular species is going to be extinct there are lot of uh, we can say the impact in the entire life system in the entire uh, ecosystem right because each and every organism is depending on each other there is a food chain food web so that's why if the reproduction does not happen what happened actually the the species which exist may exist today that might be not visible tomorrow so therefore for the continuation existence of any particular species whether plant animal or any organism these require some continuity of chain of the species right and that that is possible by reproducing okay so there are two types of reproduction okay based okay from uh, from how we can uh, able to identify this two types of reproduction the based on the individual that are involved in the reproduction and the manner they are going to reproduce there are basically two types of reproduction the one is sexual and another one is asexual right so here you have to clear about the definition of the reproduction importance of reproduction and now we are begin with the types of reproduction right okay so what are these types that is asexual and sexual okay before that we are moving ahead as we know that each and every organism here you can able to see the different organism so this each and every organism has something life span for example as we know whenever we are talking about uh, like uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, human human has a average life span of 60 years so same way each and every organism has some life span for example tortoise right that is the largest life span 100 to 150 years banyan tree so what is the life span the duration between birth and death of particular species particular individual that is defined as the life span a life span of that particular individual so this is this picture is from the ncert textbook you have to keep in mind some life span some individual life spans which are given in the textbook because in neat we are we are taking the basic part as as from the trend analysis we can say that the uh, more than 60% of or 60% of content are from the ncert base so that's why we are we here uh, refer the ncert textbook right and with that you can also prepare with your board exam also for the cbsc board or other state board okay which is again uh, relevant for the ncert textbook okay so here uh, we have given some photographs and we have to tell about their life span right what is the different life span of this part okay so with this actually i have i have try to give you the table where you can identify the life span of the different organisms which is involved in your syllabus for example butterfly crow crocodile men 100 years but actually it is not possible right now parrot 140 years tortoise 100 to 150 years wheat plant 6 months banyan tree 200 years so this is what the life span of different organism you you don't need to keep the record of each and every organisms but you have to must remember whatever given in your ncert book right okay so may fly butterfly crow crocodile men parrot 140 years right okay so these are the some of the examples you have to keep in your mind and uh, you can pause this slide and you can uh, note mark in your uh, textbook or your any reference material also right okay so then whenever we are talking about the types of reproduction as we have seen the depending on the individual involved in the depending on the individual involved in the process of reproduction there can be two types right for example when the offspring is produced by single parent with or without involvement of gamete formation 
now here is the question is what is gamete formation gamete right so what is gamete actually as we know whenever we are talking about the sexual reproduction there are two parents uh, involvement of two parents one is male another one is female okay male is responsible for producing the sperm and female is responsible for producing the ovum egg cell the sperm sperm cell which actually donate for the production of the zygote zygote is the fusion of male gamete and female gamete right so gamete is a cell unicellular cell right we can say gamete is a cell and with the formation of or we can say diploidy of n what is n right okay uh, i hope you are clear about n if you are not you please mention in the comment section i definitely give you the answer but you must know about the n what is n and what is 2n what do we mean by n n 2n right okay so in asexual reproduction is because involvement of both the parents are not necessary so that is why there is no gamete formation or the fusion see there are the steps for the sexual reproduction that we are dealing in the later stage but these steps involve the formation fusion and the formation of zygote formation of gametes generation of gametes fusion of the gametes and the zygote formation right so this is what when the single parent is involved there is not necessary the fusion of the gamete or there is no gamete fusion in fact there is no formation of the gametes involve mitotic division you must have studied about the cell cycle chapter or cell division mitotic or equational division we are talking about what is this equational division or equal division right when one cell with 2n divide into two daughter cells it is with the same ploidy this is called equational division mitosis right cell division individual are genetically identical because there we can say that for example if we take the example of uh, asexual reproduction in any simplest organism for example amoeba so whenever this particular body whenever this particular body of amoeba is going to be uh divide for example it is going to be divide that actually splitting is involved right this amoeba is going to split into individuals by giving them equal contain whatever it has for example ye to aisi baat hui jaise hum ek ghar hai aur ek ghar ka batwara karte hain ek ek bade bete ko ek chote bete ko so this is what asexual division right asexual reproduction so that is why in asexual reproduction whatever the progeny is formed that is definitely equal to parent because parent ka hi to division hua hai there is no other kind of modification there is no other thing involved in this process right so individual are genetically identical and that is defined as clone in 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 this asexual reproduction see whenever we are talking about this we feel that if there is sexual reproduction already happening in some species in most of the species why there is necessary for asexual reproduction what is the necessary can we uh, can we can we not eliminate completely asexual reproduction no it is not happens because simple organisms for example unicellular amoeba paramecium these organisms are going to reproduce asexually and in our regular practices of uh we can say the cropping pattern for example this is the season of mango right you 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 like very much the mango fruit but how it is possible for the farmer to provide the mango to the whole country population because naturally when we are try to grow the mango it is not decided that it will be grow today or tomorrow it within one month or two month and for that we must or farmer must go for the artificial method and this artificial method involved the artificial breeding and this breeding involved the production of same species or production of with the same characters right okay so that is why clones are necessary in the crop production right whatever quality we like for example someone like the kachi mango someone likes the other one right 
so for the production of the same quality of fruit we require the characters which are already present in the parent and that would be definitely come with the new fruit or new progeny and this that is why with that we are using the asexual method okay so i hope you are clear about this clone we will be using this clones in a biotechnology unit okay so this is what about asexual single parent involved no formation fusion of gametes mitotic division individual are genetically identical okay what about the asexual uh, sorry sexual two parents male and female male is producing the male gamete female is producing the female gamete egg ab gametes form hue hai to uska fusion bhi hoga fusion ho ke zygote banega right involves the meiosis a reduction division when particular cell with 2n is divided by giving n to first one and giving n to second one this is defined as the reductional division because there is a reduction of the number of chromosomes in the formation of cell so to clear this one you must clear with the n what is n you must clear with the stem you must give the answer in the comment section what is n right and what is 2n how it can be defined okay so this is what involves the meiosis individual shows the variation because there we will study in the later stage formation of gamete formation of gamete this is the 2n in 2n 2n that is of the zygote uh, ploidy this zygote ploidy become 2n by n from male and n from female so whatever characteristics has with the male only n came from that and from the female also only n came from that and by fusion some new new 2n will be formed okay so that is why individuals would be with the various offspring so this is what the basic difference between asexual and sexual you must be clear with this right this is the very important part of this chapter and even your further topics okay then now uh, let us going in a depth what is uh, asexual how this asexuals involves the different method okay and what about uh, the uh, different organisms involved in this asexual reproduction so as we have seen asexual reproduction is primitive form because it it it, it is happening in the unicellular lower organisms okay so the ability to exist in two genders evolved with the changing the environment why why the unicellular organisms is going to be reproduce asexually because this this they are trying to adapt with the surrounding environment with the increase in the complexity of newly evolved life forms the dominance of asexual reproduction decreased right because as we know in asexual reproduction the progeny are similar to the parents so if the parent can't survive in the temperature high temperature the progeny will again definitely not survive in the high temperature okay but if this particular species want to exist okay it must to develop the adaptation but in asexual reproduction as because the progeny is very similar to the parents there is no chances for modification to adapt with the environment and that is the reason as the earth organisms are evolving the importance of asexual reproduction is decreasing because the asexual reproduction is not providing that much capacity to the organisms newly developed organisms to adapt with the environment okay so this is what the meaning of the sentence nevertheless each kingdom encompasses the set of strictly asexual organism as well as set of organisms characterized by presencing of both here what we are doing is we will study each and every kingdom that would be exist for example from bacteria to animals to human each and every kingdom where examples are suitable for our syllabus we will study that this organisms is strictly asexual or this organisms is strictly asexual or sexual okay so we have to study with this example 
so here we can say that whenever we are talking about asexual reproduction there are different me method in different organisms for example budding fission fragmentation vegetative propagation various these are the various mechanisms of asexual reproduction we have to study this each and every mechanism in individual organisms right okay why this is the method because this is the easy way this this would be completed in a very small time or in a very competing manner okay but because of the lack of genetic variation the ability to adapt to the changing environment is limited and genetic variation can occur only through the random mutation we will study this term also what is random mutation okay let me let me uh, give you some brief about the mutation for example this is one chain a this is one chain a when this is going to form new chain a this is not similar to parent chain why because there are some folding in this chain and this one is straight so when there is something change from the parent one or from the original one this can be defined as mutation this change can be defined as a mutation now there are two types of mutation might be it is useful it is beneficiary or it is harmful that we will study in later stage right so because for the adaptation you require some mutation why for example in this summer season we are trying to adapt with the hot temperature by having the more water or using the cotton clothes so this is one kind of adaptation right we have we have modified ourselves okay so this is what happened with the mutation being so they are dependent on favorable mutation to cope up with the environmental change this is what we have discussed okay so what are the list of asexually reproduce organism okay from lower organism to the higher plants so basically as i already told you this is the primitive method and that is why this is basically found in the most of the lower organisms for example bacteria protist okay archaebacteria archaebacteria are primitive of the bacteria okay archaebacteria and then eubacteria and then protist unicellular protist unicellular are defined as protist then fungi and plant fungi as we know this is the multicellular organism right because the multicellularity characters in the uh, kingdom that would be initiated from the fungi so there is some higher development and then plants these two kingdom shows the uh, we can say the uh, both the types of sexual as well as asexual mode of reproduction right so we have to see with the example okay what are the example so first of all are bacteria uh, or kingdom about the archaebacteria so wall archaebacterial kingdom is reproduced asexually which are the methods budding fission fragmentation right okay aap yahan pe sirf ye naam yaad rakhiye budding fission uh, fragmentation iska matlab iske definition what is the process all we will discuss in later stage you just recalling the name okay examples what are the examples of archaebacteria these are going to be reproduced asexually methanogens i hope you are clear about this purple sulfur bacteria thermophiles halophiles right high temperature high high salinity then psychophiles cryophiles low temperature okay so these are the some of the examples of archaebacteria that you will be concerning in somewhere in your syllabus so that's why you should keep this examples in your mind that these are the bacteria these are the archaebacteria which are going to reproduce asexually okay then you bacteria most of the bacteria are reproduce asexually but whenever we are talking about the some other things certain bacteria genetic exchange occurs through the bacterial conjugation and transformation process bacterial conjugation what do we mean by conjugation you might be hear about the conjugation in paramecium when the two paramecium are going to attach and they exchange the nucleus this is called conjugation this attachment process is called conjugation so same thing happen with the bacteria also conjugation and transformation transformation of what genetic material so in bacteria 
Archaebacteria, we have taken the example of methanogens, halophils, cryophils, right? In U bacteria, most of the other bacteria, streptococcus, pneumococcus, and uh, cephalococcus, and everything, right? Okay, then coming to next. The bacteria in which asexual and sexual both kind of reproduction you will be able to see. These are, this is very important example. Isericia coli, E. coli, Chlorobium tepidium and Vibrio cholera. Right, cholera, just say what I cholera disease, Vibrio cholera. So, E. coli, Chlorobium and Vibrio cholera. You must keep these names in your mind. E. coli, Chlorotepidium and Vibrio cholera. These are the bacteria generally till now we have in your mind that bacteria definitely reproduce asexually they never reproduce by the sexual method but here you should keep in your mind this things that this three basic bacteria see there are the number of bacteria which might be reproduced with both the method but with our syllabus these are the three bacteria we should concern isericia coli and chlorobium tapidium and vibrio cholera right so you should keep this examples in your mind then strictly asexual the u bacteria if we are talking about okay these all are u bacteria bacillus nitrifying bacteria purple sulfur purple non sulfur rhodospirulin right and i'm sorry okay so this is what about u bacteria which are strictly asexual purple non sulfur purple sulfur, cyanobacteria, spirochytes and other, right, uh, rickets and clostridium. So, these are the some of the example where you can find each or any other place in your textbook or in your syllabus. So, that's why I have taken these examples, bacillus, nitrifying, where we have done nitrifying bacteria, you must recall about this, what is the function of nitrifying bacteria, what is the importance, then purple sulfur, purple non sulfur rhodospirulin right we have also talk about this one cyanobacteria oscillataria and nostoc where where we found the importance of nostoc then other clostridium and rickettsia okay rickets just so hota hai okay so these are the example see this chapter that uh, with this unit or sorry i'm this with this topic there is a less thing to be understand there are more things to be uh, uh, you have to keep in your mind by ratification. You just ratify these examples one by one. Now, protesta, unicellular protest. Okay. So, this uh, uh, we can say that first showed a distinct presence of gametes and alternation in the sexual and asexual form. Both the things happen with this kingdom, right? Asexual as well as sexual. Okay. In protists, reproduction occurs through budding, fragmentation, sexual and asexual spore formation. However, asexual phase dominate the life cycle. What happens if you are asking the questions about the protist that which kind of reproduction is happening, then both sexual as well as asexual. But in the life form, as you have studied in the 11th standard, the plant life cycle in bryophyte, pteridophyte, gymnosperm, right? Haplontic, haplodiplontic, and these kinds of life cycle. So, in life cycle, each stage would be dominant, and another stage would be the temporary for the purpose of reproduction. So, in protist, both the kinds of reproduction is taking place, but the main stage of the life is with the asexual reproduction. Asexual is the dominant phase. Okay. Then, Strictly asexual, which are the strictly uh, asexual? Okay, so this is what about pro protist? Protist means strictly asexual concept. So, protist that means uh, unicellular. This protist might be animal or plant. So, fungus like protist, dictyliostelium and labyrinthula. These are the fungus like protist. Protist is the group with the which has a u, uh, unicell, matlab one cell. So, this one cell, it is might be of plant type or of animal type or of fungi type. Okay. So, the fungus like pro, uh, protist are dictyostelium and labyrinthula. Plant like protist are euglena. Euglena protist, I hope you are clear about this. And animal like protist is amoeba. So, these all are strictly asexual. They reproduce only asexually, right? Fungus like protist, dictyostelium, then labyrinthula and plant like protist, euglena and animal like protist, amoeba. Okay. Then, 
fungi fungal reproduction occurs through both sexual and asexual spores i hope you are clear about spores ascomycetes basidiomycetes right uh, you have studied in the uh, kingdom in 11th standard so the asexual spore germinates and give rise to the hyphae this this singular cell this fiber is defined as a hyphae and the wall fungal body is made up of the hypha right this is what the fungal body in the process of uh, we can say that uh, uh, reproduction right it is the uh, deuteromycetes fun fungi imperfecti that reproduce solely through asexual mechanism and belong to the phy phylum ascomycetes ascomycetes or basidiomycetes right so fungi kingdom fungi if we are talking about that is the deuteromycetes that is fungi imperfecti which reproduce thoroughly asexually right okay so this is what you should keep in your mind strictly asexual ascomycetes and basidiomycetes okay these are the group you must keep in your mind okay so this is what uh, if i am talking about uh, yahan pe aspergillus niger that is in group of the ascomycetes and penicillium aspergillus and penicillium and basidiomycetes that is the tila chili diopsis right uh, racemosa so this uh, here what you can do is you just go through this uh, slides again and again or revise your videos again and again and when as much as uh, you are hearing this name you you can be able to keep this in the print form in your mind okay what is ascomycetes examples of ascomycetes right aspergillus and penicillium basidiomycetes right okay uh, so this is what then plant kingdom so plant kingdom as we know this can reproduce again by both asexual as well as sexual and uh, vegetative propagation when asexual reproduction we are talking about the plant this is defined as a vegetative propagation or apomixis e mixis and apomixis we will de uh, definitely deal with this term very few plants reproduce strictly through asexual a majority of them exhibit an alternation of both sexual as well as asexual as we have just talk about this that haplontic haplodiplontic and everything okay then strictly asexual this is very uh, important dahlia where you have uh, studied about uh, this example dahlia in the previous session or in uh, in your 11 textbook then vitaria aplenciana right aplenciana short string fun fun i hope in which group the fun is in well you must tell about this in the comment section so dahlia and vitaria okay then algae asexual asexual both algae ferns mosses right so these are the sexual and asexual both gymnosperm and angiosperm there are the ample number of examples you can give in the angiosperm potato strawberry and uh, other and gymnosperm cycas pinus this examples you can give for the both asexual as well as sexual reproduction then animal right so this again unicellular animal when we are talking about they are going to the asexual reproduction but as we know the animal is the most evolved organism the most of the organism most of the animal species are going for the sexual reproduction right so a few of the species mostly aquatic invertebrates exhibits the presence of asexual reproduction also so strictly asexual strictly asexual we are talking about is hydra you must keep in your mind this is strictly asexual right okay you you must give me answer about this which type of asexual reproduction is happening in hydra we definitely talk it with the next session but here you should clear with this which type of asexual reproduction is done with the hydra right then sponge uh, coral cilantrates sea anemones starfish worms insects reptiles shark these all are both sexual as well as asexual but in uh, one exceptional that asexual reproduction is hammerheaded shark and bonnethead shark have been identified recently so this is what about the uh, we can say that uh, what are the method of asexual reproduction sexual reproduction types and examples in this in this session you must keep the examples of sexual asexual we have studied the we have uh, we have tried to list out the example from uh we can say that simply from the uh, bacteria to animals 
in bacteria what are asexual what are sexual and then in protist then in plant and then in animals okay so you must keep this examples in your mind revise this uh, slides or revise uh, this video two times three times so you can easily pick up the names and second thing this is not given in the ncrt but as per our need preparation we are going with the simultaneously you have to keep these things in your mind that whatever the relevant material would be there i will definitely collect it and i will present in front of you so this is uh, enough for this session okay definitely subscribe the channel and then revise again and again and let me give your response in the comment section okay bye bye